Peritoneal dialysis, like hemodialysis, is a way of cleaning your blood. It's called peritoneal dialysis because it makes use of a space that exists in your abdomen, lined by your peritoneum. The peritoneum is a membrane made up of two layers. One layer lines your abdominal wall, while the other lines and protects your main organs. The space between these membranes is called the peritoneal cavity. This is where a doctor will insert a peritoneal catheter for you. The catheter is a soft tube, about the thickness of a straw. It has lots of tiny holes which enable fluid to move in and out. In a simple operation, the catheter is placed into the peritoneal cavity. The tube has two small cuffs which help keep it in place. The tube outside the body has a connector which can be capped. This allows permanent and easy access for transferring dialysis solution to and from your abdomen. Peritoneal dialysis is performed by you, the patient. There are two methods to choose from. In one, patients treat themselves manually four times a day. Another is performed at night with a machine that automatically drains and refills the abdomen. Continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis is better known as CAPD. With this treatment, you attach a bag containing around 2 litres of pre-packaged dialysis solution to your catheter and drain it into your peritoneal cavity. You may have a slight increase in size around your waist, but most people get used to it very quickly. When the fresh fluid is in place, you disconnect yourself, place a cap on the end of your catheter to protect against infection, and tuck the catheter away under your clothing. For the next few hours, you're free to go about your normal daily life, while the solution in your abdomen works its magic. Slowly the solution begins to draw water and waste out of your bloodstream through the peritoneal membrane. The membrane acts as a filter between the surrounding blood vessels on one side and the clean dialysis solution on the other. But while water and small wastes are able to pass through, larger elements like blood cells and most proteins are blocked. After a few hours, when the dialysis fluid in your abdomen is saturated with waste from your blood, you connect your catheter to an empty waste bag below you and a fresh bag of dialysis fluid above you. The first step is to drain the waste down into the waste bag. Later, you'll dispose of it, a bit like going to the toilet. Next, the fresh bag of solution is dripped into the abdomen, and the blood cleaning process starts again. The exchange process takes around 35 minutes and needs to be repeated every 4 to 5 hours. Most people change the dialysis solution at least four times a day and sleep with the solution in their abdomens at night. It's not necessary to wake up and perform dialysis tasks during the night. With APD or automated peritoneal dialysis, these fluid exchanges are performed for eight to 10 hours overnight 
using an automated cycler machine. This machine fills and drains your abdominal cavity while you sleep. For people who are working or leading busy lives, a cycler machine can make peritoneal dialysis much more convenient and manageable. However, it's not always suitable. The downsides are that you have to do dialysis every day. You have a catheter in your abdomen which can cause problems at times. You can get an infection called peritonitis. If you're diabetic, you may need more insulin. And peritoneal dialysis may only be effective for a few years. The good side is that it puts you in control. It can be done during the day or overnight and can fit into your daily schedule. It's portable so it gives you more freedom with travel. It's gentle and continuous. And importantly for some people, there are no needles.